I wanted to walk you through the class real quick so you have an idea um, of where to find everything that you're looking for. Um, so right now you're coming in to the start here button. Um, in about a week or so, I'm going to have you start coming in to the announcements um, button. So this, this is going to be the first thing you're going to see. Um, the things I wanted to point out to you is first I wanted to point out to you info and resources. Info and resources has a lot of the has a lot of answers to the questions I'm being asked a lot. So info and resources has if we're going to meet online, this is your happy hour link. This is where we're going to meet. Unless I send you a different link, this is where you're going to meet. If you decide to join Slack, this is where the the, the um, link is to join it. Uh, and then if you once you've joined it, you can use this to access the workspace. Um, this tells you more information about Spotlight, and the way you access this is by literally clicking on this on this file. There's a Google Doc that's behind that um, that tells that that gives you access, in this case, to a Spotlight folder, um, and it gives you access to the schedule, um, the the syllabus announcement, what you, what you need to know about um, about Spotlight. The um, then I get a lot of times I get questions about grades. So there's a Google Doc that explains things like um, I oftentimes get emails from students that say, "Have I completed all the assignments?" Well, the the reality is um, the reality is is that you can look this up yourself better than I can, and this explains how you look these things up, how you figure out what your current grade is, um, that kind of thing. Um, if you have additional questions that aren't covered in this document, let me know. I'll, I'll gladly add more stuff to it. Um, I do mention the SQ3R reading system. That's one of the educational resources, and there's a link to it inside of there. Um, then, you know, if you don't know how to submit an assignment, those kinds of things, those uh, kind of resources you can find here. Um, and then I have a couple of favorite free software items. Uh, one of them being a screen recorder. This is, for example, the recorder I use right now to record this video. Um, and sometimes it, it's so much easier when you just send me a video of what's happening or a screenshot of what's happening rather than trying to explain what is happening. Um, so I'm a, I'm a big fan of send me videos, send me show, show me what's going on. Um, then the next section contains the book materials. So this is here your uh, your um, Pearson ebook. Um, for me, it makes me go to a new window. I don't know what it looks like for you, um, but the ebook should launch for you without any trouble just by clicking on clicking on this link. Um, and I am going to um, assign chapters uh, in the book. You know. Um, as we, there's table of contents is right here. And then you can go in there with chapter one. Um, there's the introduction to the study of life. And then you go, you know, you just find your way through there. Um, like I said, if you need to have a, um, if you need to have a book that's um, your, your, um, I, I can never get back. I can never get back from here. There's got to be a way, but I can never do it. So, so this was the book. Then there's Mastering Biology, um, and you get to the assignments in Mastering by clicking on the Mastering Course Home. Um, and in there, there will be assignments. Um, they should be, yeah, there's one that's already there. That's the next one that's due. Um, you just click and then you have all of these assignments. And this probably looks different for you than it does for me because I'm the instructor. So, um, uh, all right. Then uh, there is, then there's the course content. And the course content, you should go into the course content every, um, every week. So this first one is the introductory biology. Um, due date is uh, 823, and clearly there's a typo I need to fix. Um, when you click on that, um, I'm trying to set this up the same way each time. I want to give you an overview of what it is, why you're doing this, what it is you're supposed to do. And um, these introductory assignments are essentially designed to just sort of chase you all over. Um, 
the the blackboard shell and have you do most of the things that you know have you try out most of the things that you're going to be doing for the rest of the semester so you're going to have an, a syllabus agreement so you're submitting an assignment that's the first thing i want to make sure that you know how to do you're going to submit a quiz because i want to make sure that you know how to submit a quiz um i want you to introduce yourself on the discussion board because i want to make sure that you know how to use a discussion board access the ebook book read chapter one using the sq3r reading system um and then I want you to log into Mastering and complete the assignments that are related to chapter one. Um, I will give you, because you know, reading sometimes is a little difficult and reading a book, this is where the SQ3R system comes in. Reading a textbook is a little different from reading a novel. So some of the things I'm giving you to help you here, if you click on here, there's a couple of things that you can find in there. Uh, there's a folder that has the lecture PowerPoint as a PowerPoint and as a PDF in there. Um, there is a folder that says um, chapter objectives, and then there's a folder with sample questions. The lecture PowerPoint helps you to organize. Don't study from the PowerPoint, but the lecture PowerPoint sometimes helps you organize your thoughts. Um, the chapter objective gives you kind of a big picture overview over what the chapters are all about. And so they help you with this SQ3R reading system. And then the sample questions, and I'm gonna just jump in there right now. After you're done, go look to see if you can answer these sample questions. Because if you can, uh, so go ahead and answer these sample questions to the best of your ability. Um, make notes of, Print this out. Make notes on these uh, on these documents, um, and then. So f this is going to help you with the reading. Here's your access to the to the um, Pearson eText where the where you're going to read the chapter. Um, sometimes I show you a couple of other things. Uh, this time there are these um, scientific thinking videos that I actually really like. Um, they're, they're a little childish, um, but they actually give you a really good idea of what scientific thinking and what this testing and all of that stuff is. So they're about three minutes each. Um, watch them with your kids. Um, they're fun to watch. Um, and then there's always going to be a section where it says to do. These are the things you're going to do. Um, so this time you are going to um, submit the syllabus agreement. Um, and there are introductions, in, instructions how to do that. You basically click on this thing and then just follow the, well, I, I'll just click on this thing, follow the prompts. But the, the, the main thing that people mess up sometimes, they start typing down in here, don't do that. You have to click on here where it says write submission and then you're typing in there. Um, so that's, that's the thing that, that people mostly mess up on when, with that. Um, there's a quiz, um, and then go ahead and introduce yourself to the introductory, introductory discussion board. Um, you just click on the underlined link. Uh, in each case, you just click on the underlined link. Um, and oh, and I needed to move this up, which I haven't done yet. Hang on, give me a second. Let me fix that real quick while I'm here, because you know, I may forget it if I don't. So mastering goes in here. So um, you do the mastering biology um, chapter um, by clicking on here. And when you do the mastering biology chapter, just as a hint, look, the, look at those sample questions at the same time, because they are usually very similar. So you're basically using Mastering Biology to check if you got your answers right. Um, and that's all um, I want you to do for the first, uh, for this first week. So hopefully um, I will meet you on the discussion board when you're, when you're submitting your discussions, because um, I'm introducing myself there too. So we'll get to know each other a little bit, hopefully, um, as, we, as we start this adventure.